Hello all. So we're at Cool Springs. It's the last day here. I haven't filmed anything and I apologize. But I'll try and do a video for you now. There's still a fair few people here. So this is my buddy Jake. Jay horse over. Our stuff we brought, the Tom Thumb, the Titan, picked up a water pump, I'll show that in a minute. Got the cement mixer here, got my uh, little silver grain grinder, or uh, grip mill. Briggs FH I'm working on trying to get going. Uh, that's a leak engine. Not mine, we're just picking it up for someone. And this, this is my new toy. Six horsepower Bulldog. I love this thing. I sold the brown wall. I did make a really awkward video of it running. I don't know if I'm gonna post it. It's kind of all over the place, but um, Colin 583 was here and helped me get it kind of half-ass running. He did more than I ever could have on that thing, so... I thank you, Colin. It's noisy, it's very heavy. It does have a little bit of run out on the flywheels, but the guy I bought it from said that somebody picked it up from the flywheels. It wasn't him, but so he says. Water's getting kind of warm, I had to go get some more. One five gallon bucket in there, and it's only just above the cylinder, like an inch. That's a big hopper on this thing. The only other real issue is that guy sees, but that's just your advance and retard for your igniter. And there's one hairline crack right there. But other than that, it's complete, it's running. I didn't want to buy another non-running engine, so. There she is. I might end up doing uh, two videos or so, maybe three. Um, just because I can't leave right now, I have to watch the dog. So, see, I can show you stuff that's kind of around me, but. That's about it. I don't know the year of the Bulldog yet, but I'll have to figure that one out. Let's see where it goes. Actually, the straight pipe that's on the Bulldog I stole from Jake was on this but he picked up a muffler for his so see ya sorry friend we met I'm leaving now so but yeah he picked up that muffler and looks pretty good on there so I stole his straight pipe <laughs> would Titan like to say hi Here's that pump I picked up. It's a Fairbanks Morris. Everybody seems to think it's a uh, high pressure oil pump. Not sure until I pull it apart and see what the innards look like. There's not really much wrong with it. It spins over nice. There's one braze right here, but that's not a big deal at all. But it is a fairly big pump. 
Now this I can barely read, but I think it's... Twelve hundred gallons per hour. Max load is one hundred and seventy-five psi. So that's a fair amount of pressure for a little pump. So that's why everybody's saying it's an oil pump. It spins over nice. And everything should be okay here for a minute. I just want to show you guys something. I've never had the opportunity to see them in person, only on videos, but there's two Springfield engines here, right behind us. They were talking, so I didn't want to interrupt, but anyway, yeah, I've never seen one in person, but there's, like I say, we're here, they're right there, so that's extremely cool to me. I didn't want to sell it until I got it running good, but the guy came over and made me an offer. I found this thing, so I think I did okay on this, and I think he did okay from the ground wall. He said it was probably just something stupid, which it probably is, but I just, I don't know. It's coming across in video, but it does have a fair amount of original paint on it. So I'm probably just going to put some linseed oil on it. And I might do something on the Bulldog, either yellow or maybe white. And then just kind of rub it off so it sticks in there a little bit, but not like nice and bright. Just to kind of disguise it and make it stand out a little more. Alright guys, that's probably going to be all I can do for the first video until somebody gets back and, like I say, I can wander around. So, I guess we'll talk to you in the next one.